Hey, you little one. Here, eat some grass. Oh, so you're not hungry. Jacob stayed at Laban's place for 30 days. He looked after Laban's sheep while he was there. During his stay here, Jacob and Rachel grew quite close to each other and Jacob fell in love with Rachel. I have brought you some water. Oh, you don't have to, you know. Don't you drink water? Yes, yes, I meant. I mean, uh, thank you anyway. Here then, have this. Hmm. Did your father see you coming here? I met father on my way here. He said he'll be coming here soon. Hmm. He doesn't usually come here at this time. Did he say why he's coming? I don't know. You can ask him yourself. There he is. Hey, Jacob. Hello. Rachel, your mother was searching for you. I'm going there now. Bye, Jacob. Bye, Rachel. Jacob, sit down. I have to talk to you about something. What is it? Hmm, I can see that you're doing great work with the sheep and in the farm. Thank you, Jacob. Oh, that's all right. No, no, Jacob. I appreciate your hard work. But just because you are my nephew, you don't have to work for nothing. I'm ready to pay you. No, uncle. I can't take any pay from you. Oh, Jacob, we can do that. I have to give you something in return for your work here. Hmm, I think, I think I'm interested in something. What is it? Go on, tell me. If you let me marry Rachel, then I shall work for you for seven years. Huh? Hmm, fine. I'll let you marry Rachel. I'd rather give her to you than someone else. Oh, thank you, uncle. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you. Jacob worked very hard for seven years. Years passed by and Laban got richer and richer by Jacob's hard work. One more month. It's just one more month and Rachel will be mine. But Laban was making other plans to deceive Jacob. He tricked his father. He tricked his brother. I'm going to get him this time. At the end of seven years, Jacob approached Laban for marrying Rachel. Laban agreed and arranged a wedding feast. <laughs> this is wonderful. Here, have some more wine. Oh no, I've had enough. Come on, drink it up. This is a big day for you. All right. Here you go. <laughs> I have to get him drunk today. And here, have a little more. Uh, okay. Can you, can you take me to my tent? I want to go to my tent. When Jacob was drunk, Laban took Jacob to his tent. Come here, Jacob. Here is your wife. My wife, my love. 
Due to the intoxication and darkness in the tent, Jacob didn't realize that the woman was not Rachel. It was Leah. Good morning, dear. Uh, good morning. Leah, what are you doing here? Where is Rachel? Don't you remember? He slept with me yesterday. No, that cannot be. I've been cheated. Where is your father? He, he is in his tent. Good morning, Jacob. You, you cheated me. Jacob, let me... Why did you do this to me? You knew I worked for seven years for Rachel. Why? I'm sorry, son. But it's not the custom in our country to marry the younger daughter before elder one. You should have told me that before, rather than cheating me like this. Calm down, Jacob. Calm down. I let you marry Rachel too. But... But what? But you'll have to work for me for another seven years. Huh? Another seven years? Mm. It's just another seven years, Jacob. Think about it. I will arrange for your marriage with Rachel in a week's time. All right. I agree. I will work for you for seven more years if you give me a Rachel. It's done. Hee <laughs> hee, I fooled him again. And as Laban promised, he got Rachel married to Jacob. Jacob, from now on, you may have Rachel also as your wife. 